Wow, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Born Fish and Die Fishing. Here we are down at Hassler Marina, fishing Millennium Pier. The owner's got a little rod over here set up, that's drop shotting. And the owner's about to get my big rod set up. And yeah, I'm gonna get them cast out there, but I'll get back to you once I set them up. Well, we have got our second rod set up, bigger rods, but yeah, it's a bit of a waste of time at the minute. Cast them out there and within seconds, they're getting wiped out by weed. It's wrong current, got the biggest weight I've got, and yeah, just struggling to hold bottom. Well, yeah, we're getting bites on the drop shot rod, so fingers crossed we'll get one on that. But yeah, like I said, it's a bit quiet with the other rods at the minute. So yeah, I was going to leave them out because yeah, there's no point keeping getting wiped out. So wait for the tide to die down a bit. Yeah, there's a lot of weed as you can see. This side does a hell of a lot. Look at all that bush just come past. It's going up towards my rod, that's not ideal. So I'm probably have to reel that in a sec. But yeah, it's not ideal at the minute. But yeah, fingers crossed the situation change. Look for other fish to show you in a bit. Well, I'll get back to it. Well, first fish. That was on the drop shot, like I said, they're both just on the drop shot rods at the minute, the tide and the weed. But yeah, not a bad little fish here. Yeah. Nice little wrasse. Yeah, that was just on a simple drop shot. This is literally a little small hook, ragworm. Got close to the pole down here. Yeah, lovely little fish. Get them chucked back, hopefully show you another. <laughs> getting recast out, my mate's just casting us out. I've just got a little bill for a mine out there. But yeah, we moved down to the end, a couple of the guys went, so we decided to move down here. Seen they had a couple of bream between them, so yeah, I got a couple of ragman baits out there open for a couple of bream. But yeah, nice evening for it. Nice and sunny still, as you can see. We set up camp for the evening. Yeah, fingers crossed, now we're down here, I have a couple more fish to show. But yeah, they had a rice so I haven't blanked, so it would be nice if my mate had a fish as well. Yeah, fingers crossed, I've a couple more to show you. Right, let's switch this in. Well, that's so my second fish. Lovely little blenny there. It's not a bad size blenny, to be fair. What is it? I'd say about 16, 16 centimetres. So yeah, not a bad blend, to be fair. Nice colours on them. Yeah, nice little fish. That's just on the drop shot, down close to this pole. Ragworm. So yeah, get them trapped back. Gone. Yeah, this is all we're using. It's an inline, inline lead. A little probably one ounce, I'd say. Maybe, maybe less, to be fair. A little ball there, a little bead, that's just to stop it hitting into the swivel. Little swivel, a little bit of line, and yeah, just down to a small hook. Put them rag where I'm on that, dropping it close into the structure. And yeah, that's what most of the bites come to all day, to be fair. Obviously, we've got the bigger rods out there. We've got a turret flapper, that's got no turret boom rig, pattern oyster. Yeah, that's got rag where I'm hoping for bream. And then, yeah, I've got a bigger bait out there, blue. And yeah, my mate's doing the same pretty much. She's got a turret flapper, rag where I'm hoping for bream. And then yeah, he's got a chunk of macro up there, just open for anything. And then yeah, obviously he's drop shotting as well. But, yeah, fingers crossed, even goes on, we'll have a few more to show. Right, good luck to you soon. Well, mate, just had a tiny little rash there. A bad little fish, but yeah, I'm starting to get a few more bites. Caught that on a little sort of flapper, small little hooks there, as you can see, little blue hooks. And yeah, not a bad little fish, that was on rag round, struck down to the structure. And yeah, fingers crossed, started getting a few more fish because the bites are starting to come in a bit more now. Yeah, we've not had too much action on the top, on the bigger rods, unfortunately, but fingers crossed we will do soon. Right, get back to another one. Again. <laughs> Two at flapper cast out there on ragworm. Gave an absolutely nice slack bite, tightened into it, and absolutely beautiful. Look at the blue on the fins there. 
lovely fish. Never had one before. Personal best for me. I'm over the moon with that. More than happy. Absolutely beautiful. Probably one of the best I can fish for quarter, if I'm honest with you. Absolutely beautiful. But I'm going to get that chuck back and hopefully show you a few more. Yeah, absolutely buzzing with that. Hopefully, I'll show you a few more. Plenty of bites, but yeah, not no more fish at the moment. But yeah, so I can't complain. I'm happy with what I caught so far. Mate's had a couple. We're we'll nice to get a few more. I'm getting a good bite on that though. We're getting a few bites from that. Got mackerel and squid. A wrap out there. Yeah, I've fished with a multiplier on that. I've fished with a multiplier before, but not that often. So yeah, a bit of trial and error today. But yeah, it's been going alright to be fair. I can't complain. But yeah, the time now is half nine. So yeah, we've got another couple more hours to fish in. Obviously you can see the sun's going down, which is quite nice. And yeah, fingers crossed, the sun goes down, we have a couple more to show you. Yeah, it's a nice evening, it's not cold down here. Yeah, nice just to be out, nice to be catching fish. Oh, that's what the light just come on. But yeah, fingers crossed, get back to a few more fish. <laughs> quiet since it's been dark to be honest. So I've had a couple of pout, little tiny pout, but that was about it. Yeah, not been getting many bites, but so yeah, not really know what's going on. But yeah, it was the same last time I came here. Once it got dark, I didn't really have a lot then, so I'm not sure what went on. Seems the fish a bit better for me in the daytime when I come here. But yeah, I can't complain. Still, I'm loving that gur gurnard, red gurnard. I'm buzzing with that. So yeah, can't complain. I think we had four or five different species. So yeah, not a bad session really. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time.